So, Crow, are you ever going to get around to reviewing this ugly-ass Gundam? Uh, I think I am. You know, it's, it's about that time, isn't it? It doesn't look too bad, though. I mean, it's definitely a lot prettier than you. How dare you? And anyways, how'd you even get a hold of this? Well, I thought it was a part of the normal shipment. No, I didn't order this at all, so I don't know how you even got it. Well, the guy who delivered it has sunglasses, a tan shirt, tan pants, and he had a weird accent. It was almost Australian, but not Australian at all. Wait a minute. I think you're talking about the Gumpla Hunter. That dude's been lost in the Amazon for months now. What would he be doing here dropping off a random Gundam kit? Beats the hell out of me. But he said he's going back out there to hunt for something. I don't know. Did he mention anything about NewTypeHQ.com slash Kosama so that way you can get 10% off your purchase? No, Crow. He didn't mention anything about fucking NewType. <laughs> the hell did he at a laugh track? Hey, what's going on? Builders Crow Sama here, and we'll be taking a look at the Alice Earth 3 Gundam. So, I'm going to be frank with you guys. I actually have not seen the recent episodes of Re Rise where this suit actually makes an appearance. I've seen a small clip of the core Gundam fighting it, and it looked like it was getting its butt whipped as, as well as May. But, I don't know, I'm just not really into the series. Like, I've watched all the episodes leading up to what they recently released. But I'm just not super into it. But this mobile suit in particular caught my eye, and I think it looks really good. It isn't really that uh, horrible looking. I know a lot of people are kind of like on the fence of it. It's very unique, and uh, I think I like it. It reminds me of Gundam Age quite a bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the unboxing. So with the unboxing done and the kit fully built, honestly my first impressions are pretty positive. It looks really great, has a lot of surface detail, and I'm, I'm pretty much digging it. What about you, Steve? You know what, Crow? It's actually pretty unique. I don't absolutely hate it, but it is still batshit ugly. You know what, Steve? I'll take that. I'll, that's actually a compliment coming from you. This is a really good kit, and I cannot wait to show you guys, so let's get on with the review. And here is what I consider the weirdest Gundam in existence. Now, I know there's a lot of spin-off things, a lot of MSV things that are super weird, like even way more weird than this, but I think in the more mainstream line, this can definitely, argue, at least arguably, be considered the weirdest Gundam to date. Uh, turn A, Turn X, those are like pretty tame in terms of Gundam designs in comparison to what I see before my eyes. Now I know this is gonna have a pack, which is going to be the Earth 3 pack, but this can still be the weirdest Gundam just because this is a core Gundam. It is still in its name, a Gundam. So it's weird to me, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the design. Now for the head, it's going to have a clear piece that's going to be covering this little sticker, but 
if you really want to paint it, you can because a lot of this has um, indentions. So if you want to just like paint the inside of that red and black, you could definitely do so. But it's also going to have some stickers right here for the red, which is going to be easily paintable. Now right behind here on, I guess, the uh, the V-Fins, there's actually some little safety flags and some little nubs. So I would definitely recommend you shaving those off. Now for the body, I do think it's actually really cool. I love the little jewel right here in the front. It, it's not a bad design, honestly. For the backpack, it's going to be very similar with this having just a single thruster. But it's also going to have these little fins right here, like these little mini wings or whatever you want to call them. They're pretty cool, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're just stabilizers and that's all they're used for is to keep this mobile suit stable. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird. It kind of reminds me of a bug. Now the arms are super odd. They are just very long and lanky, but they have like this huge form right here, but everything else is very slim. It's a really odd design choice, but I, you know, obviously it's going to play into the part where uh, this has the pack on, it's going to have the broad shoulders. So that's, you know, it kind of plays into that. But regardless, it is still a very weird design choice. Now coming down to the legs, it's obviously going to have a lot of similarities with the core Gundam, but I don't know man, like the feet, they are just super weird with these little claws right here. Pretty cool if, uh, you know, in the anime I haven't seen it, but if he latches on to the mobile suit and he can kind of cling on like that. Now for articulation, the head is going to be on a ball joint, but as well as a little hinge. Shoulder is going to be on ball joints. Rotation at the bicep. Two points of articulation for the elbow. Ball joint for the hand. Rotation for these little fins. Waist swivel, rotation for the front skirts, peg system for the hips, so can go forward and backwards pretty far, and to the side, not so much. Rotation at the hip, one point of articulation here for the knee, articulation at the ankle, but that's going to play into the transformation, ball and socket for the foot, and the claw can move back and forth. Now for weapons, he is going to have this clear purple effect part for his hand, and a sticker is also going to be provided. And you're going to have a bunch of leftover parts, namely the core Gundam's chest, you got part of the shield, you got the hands, and some other little bits that you can actually use for whether it be customs or whatever you really want. But yeah, you're going to have some excess plastic right here. So this is going to come with a bunch of stickers, and they're pretty cool little foil stickers. And you're going to get this, what I call a stand, for the Earth 3 parts, which... Uh, to my knowledge, this is exclusive for the Gunpla and has not been shown in the show. And here's the Earth 3 parts all just chilling on a stand. Honestly, it looks good, so if you want to display your Alice Gundam with the parts separate, you could do just that. Or, you could slap it onto the Gundam, like so. Now here it is with all the armor attached, and it's looking really good. Honestly, I was on the fence about it before I built it. But having actually completed this build, I can definitely say I'm all for this mobile suit. So take a look at the Earth 3 armor. The head is actually going to be a completely new head because you're going to take off the old one. Now for the new head, you are going to have some really nice colors. You're going to obviously have the uh, blue V-fin right there. And you're going to have either red or you can choose the purple stickers, much like the Alice Core Gundam. Now for the chest, you are going to get some blue bits that's just going to connect to the sides of the chest. And they look pretty good for the most part. You're going to have some purple stickers right here on the, the little sides of them. Now for the shoulders, this little part is going to slide out and basically extend the shoulder parts. Nothing is going to be different on the actual arm, but the shoulder is going to get some new armor as well as some new stickers for the front and the back. This is going to be some new armor for the front skirts as well as some new stickers. The back skirt is just going to be one solid piece that snaps on. Now for the backpack, these little bits right here are actually going to just rotate up. And you're going to slap this big blue piece on there. But what I love about it is that there's so much surface detail on this that panel lining, or if you want, you can mask this off and just paint these like different colors or whatever you want to do. But it looks super good. And for the legs, you're going to have these beautiful like bell-bottom looking legs. I love them. Uh, the only thing I do not love is going to be the feet. You're not going to have any kind of support on the back right here. So it, it is prone to falling backwards, not necessarily because it's back heavy. It's just that there's no type of support over here. You're just kind of putting a lot of the weight on the front toe right here. 
Now it is going to come with two accessory holding hands, uh, but it's not going to have any armor backings for the back of the hand, which is unfortunate, but eh, you just swap them out and it'd be fine. Now what it's actually going to be holding in terms of weaponry is going to be the core spray gun, but it can actually change into the beam rifle. You just slap this part right in front and throw this bit right on top. And there we have it. We have the beam rifle, which actually looks really cool. The design of this is just really unique. I love it. It's, it's something out of Halo, I've noticed, but yeah, this is a very beautiful design for a beam rifle. Now for the articulation, everything's pretty much remaining the same. The head is still going to be on a ball joint. Now the shoulders do come out just a little bit, so you may have a little bit more range of articulation right here in the shoulder joint. Everything in the arm remains the same. Waist remains the same. Now that you have some armor right here in the front, it may limit some things, but it pretty much looks like it's going to be the same. Now adding the back skirt is going to limit the leg articulation for it not going all the way back. Now for the hips, the front is pretty much going to remain the same. Unfortunately, these sides are going to be slightly limited just because this armor piece is going to be restricting a little bit of movement. Now the foot bend actually turns into a knee joint. So this is going to have a 90 degree angle. And then you're also going to have this other point of articulation here in the leg. So if you bring that up, you're going to have a much more extended range of movement. Now coming to the feet, this is going to be just a ball and socket, and it's pretty bad in my opinion. I'm not uh, too fond of this range of movement. Now you are going to get a third head that is for customizing with the core Gundam's planet systems, but I mean, honestly, I'm not for it. It's kind of weird, and yeah, it has a lot of stickers. Uh, to me, it's a hard pass. So for my final thoughts on the kit, honestly, it's great. I don't have many problems with it outside of uh, maybe too many stickers, but the stickers really aren't that bad, so I won't count it too much as a con. The ankle articulation, once it goes into its Earth 3 mode, is not going to be that great, but it's still serviceable. And the lack of maybe like a toe or a heel, so that way this kit can stand up without any issues, that's a little bit of a negative as well. But I honestly love the surface detail of this kit. It looks great. Um, cleaning up the dubs isn't even that bad. I, I know some people kind of have a hassle with uh, dark parts with their dubs, but if you know how to properly cut and sand, you're not going to see those nubs at all. So I don't really count that as a negative at all either. But the colors are very vibrant. I love the purple. I love the blue. The black looks good. So this kit all around is pretty solid. I wouldn't say it's bringing anything new to the table when it comes to high grades, but it's a welcoming addition to the high grade divers re-rise series so that concludes the review honestly it's not a bad kit whatsoever it has a lot of great things going for it um the only bad things is like i mentioned before it's probably going to be in the feet and just some design choices i think are not the best but it is still unique and i think that actually works in its favor but that's it for me. Uh, I don't really have anything else I can add to it. If you can, you can go and pick this up over at newtechbhq.com slash Krosama. So pick it up if you can, and I'm pretty sure you're going to have a great time, much like I did. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.